the, the sawed off this wagon were the home and the workplace for uh, the Wright family for about um, uh, from 19, the mid 1930s up until 1969 when Harold Wright died. The, the wagon was decorated with a, with a lot of family photographs capturing that, that interest in just this unusual wagon because the, the photographs on the outside certainly reflect the evolution of, of the wagon from when it was horse drawn through to when it was fitted on the back of a Chev truck and through to it being pulled by, by, um, by the David Brown tractor. The wagon's been described as looking a bit like a circus tent um, at night with all the lights that were around it. Okay, dog kennel on the right. In the middle, chicken coop with standard decoration here, yeah. which just in terms of us just up make here. it look nicer, so give it a bit of space for the eggs. Was um, over that is the cat soldered box. items in. and right uh, underneath bits of brass, right bits of copper, seat. bits of bronze, two axles. Um, that Jim looks like is the a, other dog um, kennel. That's a line. It would have had it's a an example of. I mean, it's the, the middle. Jean, which is Harold's uh, wife. She'd always make a cup of tea and she'd always like to sit down and have a talk. Um, if a customer paid Harold, he would all that meant he'd just go over and give it to Jean and uh, Jean would drop it. Jean never counted, she just got it and just dropped it in her little tin. But he used to say if he was going anywhere and it gets the middle of the day it was a bit hot, he would pull in under a tree on the side of the road. And the farmers would be a bit of a sticky bit. Everyone would know what's going on. And they used to come across the paddock and I'll have a talk to him. And I'll come back in 10 or 15 minutes later with their knives and their kitchen centrals, you know, and a couple of hand saws. And, and he'd be there sharpening. And if it's a big job, and he'll stay the night. Occasionally, uh, a farmer would pick him up and take him back to their place for tea and they'll have a shower. That's how they just sort of plodded around. I was fortunately the one who collected it, so I, my first sighting of it was in a shed, a dusty old shed outside Wangaratta. As part of the decoration on the wagon, there were, we've got a number of different names. Harold has called himself the Sharpening King, he's called himself the Saw Doctor, he calls himself the Battler from the Bush. The wagon itself has been variously called the Road Urchin, um, sort of reflects that life of moving around and when Harold died there was a map on the inside of the wagon which had a path traced out on it. Um, unfortunately that's, that's gone so we just have to make assumptions about where he went. So they travelled the extent of eastern, Victoria, uh, eastern Australia from uh, at least southern Queensland, possibly further north in Queensland, right out to western Victoria.